Amelia Earhart was born in 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. Her parents raised her to be a proper woman, but by nature she was a tomboy who loved adventure. Amelia was inspired to fly after working as a nurse at a military hospital during World War I. After attending an air show with her father, Amelia began taking lessons from Anita Snook. Amelia was the 16th woman to be issued a pilot's license. After completing flight school, she bought her first plane and painted it yellow. She named it Yellow Canary. In 1928, Amelia became the first woman to fly as a passenger across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1932, Amelia became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. At first, Amelia flew as a hobby, but as she became more popular, she made flying her career. She made several publicized flights. The media advanced Amelia to fame. She used her fame to promote commercial aviation and the advancement of women. Amelia was nicknamed Lady Lindy because her features resembled those of Charles Lindbergh, who was the first person to fly nonstop across the Atlantic Ocean in 1927. Amelia inspired Eleanor Roosevelt, wife of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, to get her own student pilot permit. She had intended to teach her how to fly. At Purdue University, Amelia served as an aviation consultant and a consultant for careers for women. The university gave Amelia an advanced aircraft called a Lockheed Electra. After receiving the aircraft, Amelia prepared to fly around the world along the equator. Prior to her last flight, Amelia met Orville Wright, who invented the first successful plane. In 1937, Amelia's flight around the world ended unsuccessfully as she flew between New Guinea and Howland Island. The U.S. government spent over $4 million to try to find her, but they were unsuccessful. The wreckage has not been found, but many theories exist. No one knows exactly what happened to Amelia or her navigator. A woman beyond her years, Amelia predicted that one day commercial aviation would become a daily routine.